Hi gorgeous, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I recreated this look, which is the look I was talking to you about when I said last week that I went to a YouTube Google event and uh, I did this look using the Lorac Pro palette and everyone said they wanted to see a recreation of it. Well, today, tonight actually, I'm going to another YouTube Google event and I decided, well, since you wanted to see that look and I kind of was feeling like doing it anyway, uh, doing it again anyway, uh, might as well just film it. And I'm wearing Joe's robe um, as I was filming it because that's usually how I get ready. And uh, so yeah, I mean, I hope that you enjoy it. It's a really, it's, I know some people are going to say it's usual to what I do, but that's just what I like. It's a very, I'm, I, I asked Joe, I said, what would you call this look? And he said, well, you have really gorgeous eyes and pouty lips. <laughs> Oh, that's what we're calling it because I think it just fits the look really really beautifully it's a gorgeous like bronzy ish smoky eye with a really pretty pouty lip and I think it's just gorgeous for a special occasion and it is a pretty full-on glam look so we're doing a lot of highlighting and cream contouring and yada yada but I just love this for a special occasion and like I said when I wore it last time I got tons and tons of compliments from pretty much everybody so I figured I'd recreate it because I really did like it so Anyway, without further ado, I hope that you enjoy this video and let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so we are going to start on the eye makeup as, as well. First, I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance as my primer. Now, I have a very, very long day ahead of me. I actually um, didn't plan on filming this, hence the robe. This is actually Joe's robe, Joe's old robe. Um, but I have a very, very long day, so I just want to make sure that I put a primer underneath my cream shadow that's going to go underneath my regular shadows to keep everything in place for a good while. The cream shadow I'm using, or the whatever you call it, it's by Boots, and it is the Stay Perfect Smoothing Eyeshadow in the color, I think the color is, yeah, it's bronze. Pop that on. It's kind of like a bronzy taupe color. I'm using this brush by Real Techniques and it is called the Domed Shadow Brush and I'm going to use this to kind of blend out that cream shadow and it is pouring down rain which is going to make for a very interesting ride to New York. Now for my first shadow I'm going to go into this color right here called Pewter and on this brush it says the eye shading E55 from Sigma and I'm going to pat this onto my lid all over my lid and then you can just pat as much of it as you want just kind of go back to really intens intensify things up to the way you like it. I'm going to go in with this Taper Blending E35 and just blend out those harsh edges and then I'm going to go in with the color Taupe right over here and then just use that as my transition shade. Now this looks like a really complicated um, eye look but it's actually really really easy. It just requires a few of these shadows and it looks magnificent. Now I'm going to go in with the color called Garnet, which is this gorgeous color right over here. Same brush and I'm going to pop that onto the outer like third of the eye and then just, I do like little round motions, like little swirly wind wipe, windshield wiper motion <laughs> and just kind of blend that onto the outer like third of the eye. You can see I'm kind of like feathering it into the crease because I don't want to apply a lot of this color into my crease. Now with that same brush I'm going to go in with this color which is called uh, Deep Purple which is so gorgeous and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of the eye. Just tap that where you want it and then just pop that and then you, this you can blend a little bit more up into the crease. Going back in with this color and the color light bronze, this color, this um, brush. There you go. And the color light bronze and I'm going to pat that on the inner corner of the eye for just a little bit of brightness. And then under the brow bone I'm going to go in with this shimmery cream color called Nude. Don't pick up too much of it otherwise looks like your brow bone is swollen. It doesn't look so messy, but wait until we put on the wing liner. It's going to look fantastic. 
For my gel liner, I'm going to use this one by Makeup Geek. It's called Immortal. And this brush by Sigma is the E65. I'm going to, this is really creamy, this gel liner. And then as you know, I always start with my wing and then just drag it in. And it's no different. So just, I usually want my wing to line up with the edge of my brow. And I'll obviously bring it as high as the edge of my brow, as the tail of my brow, but that's where I want it to line up. So just form that first. Okay, now you kind of formed where you want it to go. And then you can go ahead and then just outline it. I might want to pull my eye a little tiny bit. I'm kind of outlining it, and then I'm going to fill it in. Okay. So, they're pretty much identical from what I can see, but don't worry about it because we are going to clean things up. To find my makeup remover wipes is impossible around here. I'm going to grab one and we have it ready. But before I do that, I'm going to take this uh, brush, which is the E45 from Sigma, dip it into deep purple and just a uh, smidge bit of the black because I want to intensify things quite a bit in the crease. And then I'm going to just work that to make that crease, that outer crease, the outer V, really nice and dark. As you can see, I'm kind of like connecting it where my wing kind of starts. And then I'm just pulling that in. Now I'm going to take my makeup remover wipe, wrap it around my finger, and then just clean up everything and like right up, right under that wing. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I am going to curl my lashes because someone said that I should definitely curl my lashes before applying falsies. I, you guys know I don't like doing that because it makes it very difficult for me to apply them. But I'm going to do them today. I'm going to curl them. And then I'll do the lower lash line in a bit. And I don't like holding on to, this is a Shiseido eyelash curler and it is the best I have ever used. Like, as you saw, I don't need to hold it for very long. I hold it for like a second squeeze and be done because it's like it makes them so that then stand straight up stand straight up and then i'm going to do a couple of coats of my voluminous million lashes from l'oreal in preparation for my lashes i am using the same ones i used last time which is the 122s from ardell they're really trimmed they're ready to go and I only wear them twice. So I'm going to wait for the glue to get tacky, which is the Revlon Precision Eyelash Glue. Really important and that gets nice and tacky. And then just make sure that you really measure your eye before you cut your lashes so that you know, like when I place my tweezer in a center, I, like I know it's going to be the center of my eye, if that makes any sense. I just think that that just works really easy. Um, so just pull on, come right in the center. Okay, now that the lashes are on, I'm going to let them set before we finish up the eyes, and now we're going to move on to the face. Okay, now I'm going to do the rest of the face. I have already moisturized really well. As you can see, my skin is looking quite lovely. For primer, because I have an extremely long day, and I know this primer never fails me, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12-Hour Perfecting Primer. I'm going to pop that onto kind of where I want, where I know my makeup breaks up a little bit if I don't wear a good primer, which is right in this area right over here, around my nose, and that's where I have my pores show right over here. A little bit on my forehead, but not much, and a little bit on my chin. Like, I don't go into this area, like, hardly ever. Now I'm going to go in with my Armani Corrector in number two. Plunk that right into my inner corners. And someone made a suggestion that I should wear this kind of all over the eye, under the eyes. I can't do that. Maybe some of you can, exp can help me understand. If I put more than this, it doesn't, it kind of just slides around and um, it's too much. So for me, I can only use a, any teeny tiny bit of it and I use it right into that inner corner. But I do have like just hereditary dark circles, I guess. I've always had them, so it's really hard to conceal them, and if I, the more I do it to them, the more it, they show for some reason, so. 
And then for my foundation, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever HD in 123. And the reason I'm using this one is because it doesn't have any SPF in it, so it photographs really well. And the event I'm going to, there will be a lot of pictures taken and things like that, a lot of press. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that on. And I'm going to use my hand, my finger, to kind of spread it where I want it. And I, use, I only use like one, about one pump, and you could use more if you wanted to, but because I'm going in with cream contouring and stuff, I think a little bit, of, like this is perfect for me. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. It's getting hot in here. These lights are really hot, and this robe weighs like 20 pounds. For cream contouring, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown stick foundation in the color Almond, and I'm going to go, you know, on the cheekbone, forehead, nose, the usual. <laughs> what a beaut. Woo! And then to highlight and conceal, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Concealer in Custard. I'm going to pop a little bit of that kind of under the eye. As you can see, I'm really not adding a ton. It looks like it's a lot more than it really is. And then I'm going to get my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. And then just kind of go under that NARS Concealer, but above that um, Bobbi Brown stick foundation. Now, when you look like this, put your shoes on and go out. <laughs> I'm going to start with the, with the bronzer side. Try to kind of pick up your hair out of the way when you do this and never blend down. Always blend up, not down. Now that you kind of have like the bronzer part, um, done, you can move on to everything else. Now, the thing I like about this Bobbi Brown um, cream stick thingy bobber in the color Almond is that it's, a, it's got like a red undertone to it, so it gives you like just a beautiful bronze finish instead of a sculpted look, which is kind of what I'm going for. So now I'm going to set my under eyes with my NARS powder, as always really lightly. I'm not going to, I'm not really adding too much. And then to set everything else, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder with a big powder brush. It's important that you kind of set all this because, especially if you want it to last a long time, it needs to be set. Now for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Ch Chocolate Soleil, and this is a Sephora Pro Precision Powder Brush. It's nice and tapered. And I'm going to go right where I cream contoured. I'm going to go over that with my, with my bronzer. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with this one, which is by Becca, and it is Damselfly. Damselfly? Damselfly? Whatever. And a Sigma Powder uh, Blush Brush. Now, because this is a really full-on glam look, I just want a little bit more highlighting in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to go in back with my MAC, and I'm just, you can see, not very much, just a really small amount. Come on. Into the corners, just because I feel like it's a little bit dark in there. And then I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and just blend that out a little. That's a little bit better. And I'm not even going to worry about setting it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. Now that that's on, I'm going to finish up my eyes. I'm going to go in with this brush right... This brush. I can't get my brushes and pencils together today. This is by Marc Jacobs, uh, and it's just a black liner. I'm going to go into the inner rim tight line and... Where's my puff? I can't stand pulling down on my eyes and then leaving finger marks. And I'm going to take this L'Oreal smoldering and I'm going to just run that underneath a little bit. Then using this pencil brush from Real Technique, Real Techniques, Makeup Geek in the Deep Purple. And I'm going to just run that under the, under the lower lash line. Woo, buddy, that's dark. I'm actually going in, I'm, I know it sounds like a, looks like a lot of products, but remember, it's a very full-on look. This is the um, Kat Von D liquid liner, and I'm going to just brush that on the lash band. 
And then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier. I know it looks like I'm all over the place, but definitely was not thinking about filming a video today. But I'm glad I did. I'm just going to take this little brush and pop that in the inner corner. I think this will forever be like my favorite highlighter in the world. It's just gorgeous. Set everything. While that's setting, I'm just going to do my lower lash line. This is actually from It Cosmetics. It's like a tight line uh, mascara, I guess. But it doesn't do anything for my top lashes. Okay, now for the lips, I want to go with something really pouty. And this was 100% inspired by the beautiful Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite. I'm going to outline and fill in my lips using the Laura Mercier Plumberry Lip Liner. So just be, take your time and be careful because when you're trying to get like a really pretty pout, what you don't want, to, what I don't like doing anyway, is, is outline my lips so much that it just looks ridiculous. But I just want to be very careful because I want a really sharp line, if that makes sense. And then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with this one, which is what Vanessa used, which is the Pinky Nude Velvet Matte Lip Crown from Sonia Kashuk. Now, before I apply my gloss, I just want to give you a quick tip, which is to always, or I do anyway, I nearly always, when I want a really perfect pout, I just clean out the edges, clean up the edges of my lips. I'm just using some concealer and a fine brush, and just like that. I think it makes the biggest difference, kind of like carving out your brows. And then for a gloss, I'm going in with this one by Buxom and it's called April. It's really pretty shimmery, pinky. Okay, so this, let me zoom you in, is the final look. I think it's just, it's gorgeous. I'm going to go just change my shirt and then say goodbye. And this is the finished look. I just changed my shirt. I'm not into my dress yet because I'm going to wait until we leave to slip it on. But I hope that you enjoy this. And I know it's a little bit scatterbrained. But like I said, I was not planning on making a video. But because it was so requested that you guys wanted to see that look, I figured I would recreate it for you. So I hope that you enjoyed spending time with me. I will leave all the products I used down below. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Bye.